Our ladies in Crumlin will become part of the new National Paediatric Hospital. But that's going to take years, perhaps five years or even more. What's going to happen in between? Crumlin is in a dreadfully rundown state. It's just got to be fixed. You just say the words Crumlin Children's Hospital. We all know on this island and beyond what we're talking about. Children, helping children yesterday, today and tomorrow. It is here, it is now. The wards in Crumlin Children's Hospital, in their own words, are simply not fit for purpose. The cancer facility at the moment in Crumlin is really, it hasn't been um, revamped since 1990. So it's way out of date in terms of infection control. The conditions are very, very poor indeed. The place is falling down, if I could be honest about it. And we run the risk, real risks, of children getting infections. For the money that we are going to raise to build the new cardiac ward, we are going to deliver a facility that for an indefinite potential number of years, we are going to change the lives of 1,500 kids per year. We are going to improve the standard of accommodation for their parents, we are going to make their patient experience much, much better. At its most simple level, we are going to get women up off the floor, we are going to stop them sleeping next to their babies and put them in beds, give them a bit of dignity give them a bit of quality of, of life at a time when everything else about their lives is so, so difficult. Crumlin Children's Hospital has been a part of the Dublin life and everybody's life that I know for many, many years. And it can't exist without you and without the donations that you make. So it's really, really important that whatever you do this year, whatever charity you're thinking of this year, somewhere along the line include Crumlin Children's Hospital. What we need urgently uh, for our children and remember Our Lady's Hospital uh, in Crumlin is the only unit in the Republic of Ireland that diagnoses and treats children with cancer. What we need is a structure where the children and their families can say so we need the basics really the basics being ensuite facilities, single rooms, we cut down infection and you know we get more of the children out of hospital earlier infection free. The new children's hospital is a few years away but today we need your help. So whenever you can think of the children and please help fix Crumlin. You don't need me to tell you that things are tough at the moment we all know that and everybody's struggling in their own way but here at Crumlin Hospital there's people who are really really struggling they're fighting for their lives there's sick children here there's parents who've had to give up work to be here to mind them they're really under pressure and the staff at this hospital just do the most incredible work and if you can do anything to help anything you can give it could literally save people's lives and it'll go a long way to help the great work they do here at Crumlin Children's Hospital so please give what you can. In order to um fix these children, cure these children, get them to the Christmas party in five, ten years time. We need your continued support. If you have a few quid and you know times are tough and all that sort of stuff, but if you have a few quid and you fancy doing something for charity, donate yourself or maybe set up your own fundraising event or maybe get somebody else to set up a fundraising event, elbow somebody near you and say, look at get involved. Um, it's a brilliant, brilliant place. Magical things happen here. Our Ladies Hospital for Sick Children in Crumlin. So do it, get off your backside now. So if you're in a position to maybe host an event, have a party, anything that can raise money or awareness in any way for Crumlin children, Hospital, it's a really, really good idea. This is the only show in town for the Republic of Ireland. Don't talk to Joe, do something about it, give money to Crumlin, help fix Crumlin now. The promise of a new children's hospital cannot divert our attention away from our sick children today. Please give what you can 